Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Ink Exposed. Today is November 23, 2010 at 5 p.m. in Birmingham, Alabama. Okay, today's topic is electromagnetic pulse effect. Now, I did a blog on YouTube already addressing this, but mine was titled Neutron Bomb. I don't know if they're using or changing the name from bomb to uh, electromagnetic pulse effect. That should be more like in a, um, a description rather than an actual thing and um, I think that simply describes the neutron bomb and to go more into detail being this electromagnetic pulse effect that it simply attacks anything that has copper in it in other words would create a major major blackout in our country that may take many years to repair. To give you an example, if this thing was was blown up 300 miles above the United States, it will affect um, 200,000 miles of electric grids, power lines, high voltage of course, and uh, 1,800 power substations in, in our country. Um, and these things would be a, like a domino effect. They'll come starting right here, just say, just say the bomb was set off above, uh, pick a, a, a Chicago. And there's going to be a, a ripple effect, a very rapid ripple effect. And, and every place that ripple goes, it takes down the power grids. So it bas basically, it's going to affect anything that operates by or on copper. So if you're watching TV, it goes out. If you're watching or listening radio it goes out if you're on your cell phone it goes out you turn on your air condition no power it goes out you have nothing you have nothing dig out the matches and the firewood you have nothing and um, but I don't think that's gonna happen because we would certainly do the very same thing. So why would not, why would we not cripple the country that just crippled us? Because we have surrounding Iran, for example, everything that it would take to disable them the way they disabled us. So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but, but I don't, and I don't know why this came up. Uh, I already had, like I said, a blog on this on YouTube, and, and mine was uh, Neutron Bomb, and theirs is Electromagnetic Pulse Effect. And um, so I just wanted to say, mention to you and bring up to date on, on that uh, now it's being talked about once again and being discussed <clears throat> outside of USA Today. I don't know who else has made comments or has uh, had write-ups about it. But I do know that Representative Ed Marley did bring it up to the House back in June 2010, and he got absolutely zero response because back in, in June or July, I'm trying to find the date here, um, June 2010, everybody's interested in kissing Obama's butt and if Obama wasn't, in other words, they're waiting for Obama to open his mouth, they're not caring too much what other people have to say about anything. They, they're, they're like the Pied Piper, they're following this man, and they're getting the droppings that he's leaving behind. You know, I've never seen anything like it. 
and I'm on I'm gonna compare our representatives our Congress our Senate all these people I want I want to compare them to if you remember this maybe you don't you can YouTube but it, it'll scare the crap out of you when Saddam Hussein went into an auditorium I don't know how many people in there I'm gonna say 3,000 but um, most of the people in there were heads of state in some capacity some order uh, mayors of towns police chiefs you know they were his Patriot, I don't know, he didn't have a Patriot guard, but they were his gophers, all of them. But, you know, there were some that spoke out against him, and he sat and stood on a stage with a notebook and read names. As he called names out, they were systematically removed from this room and taken out and killed. They were, they were killed, or they were tortured. They were punished severely. Okay, this to me, in my mind, what the, the picture I have is what our people, the way they view Obama, they're scared to death of Obama. Obama doesn't care about me or you or this country because when this was brought up by this representative, he didn't even hear it. Not enough to comment on it. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting a little heavy here. Um, but anyway, I wanted to bring this back up because uh, it was brought back up to me today. And, uh, and I'm happy to see that at least the USA Today put something in the paper about it. You know, it's the first thing that's been in any paper that I know of. And uh, they also say it, it would resemble a sunburst. Now, those are, are these, you know, when these happen, they just really flood the earth with these these waves of, of magnetic energy but we have a magnetic shield around us that blocks this so I think the chances of a sunburst would be higher than the chances of Iran leasing unleasing or whatever one of these things over the top of us because we're not done we're gonna do it right back to them but anyway, I wanted to bring this up. It's back in in the talk right now. People are beginning to, hey, what is this? You know, I haven't heard of this. Well, this is my second blog on it in months. No one talked about it. I even had it on before. Um, this Ed Marley guy, or Marky, this Marky guy, I had a blog way before he mentioned it. So anyway... Um, keep your eyes and ears open because something could happen and uh, anyway Jody Wolf exposed